Hey guys, JVC here for JVC Reviews and thanks for tuning in. Now, here is the follow-up video which I promised in the F86 Fly Fly Sabre video. Now, yes, as promised, the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shootout, no, not that sort of shootout um, video, but one between the three 90 mil fan units. Now, uh, which ones are they again? They are the Wemotech, the Change Sun, and the Fly Fly. Uh, I kept the test conditions um, the same for each one because I want to get an accurate um, answer to what the differences are between each one. So I've used the same uh, motor, same ESC, same batteries and same thrust stand, all done in the same weather conditions. Now at the time of this review I didn't have a KV slash RPM meter so I didn't get the RPM, um, which I will in future reviews as I do them and the fan and motor tests I will also include. Um, them as well. Now the results were quite interesting even though they varied a fair bit but uh, enough of me talking let's put the videos on so you can see exactly what it is I'm talking about. And here we got the test of the Change Sun 90mm fan rotor with a 2075kV 3675can motor 100 FESC and 4000 milliamp 5S30C battery. Here we go. Now for the Wemotech, the same ESC, same battery, obviously fully charged.
and here's the same test with the fly fly rotor um, but what I'll do I'll only take it up to the same amount of amps as I did the Wemo so roughly around 80 so you can compare the, uh, the thrust it was out of balance but just to give you a rough idea substantially lower than the Wiimote so for my final review thoughts I'll start off with the chain sun now the good points of this fan um, first of all it's cheap um, so just shop around you can, you can pick it up online stores relatively cheap the rotor is tough as hell. I mean, you'd have to swan dive this thing at full speed into bitumen and to, to damage it. And even then, you probably won't damage it. It's really, really strong. Um, seen videos and reports of guys that have run these things on 10S. So they have got the potential to get some pretty serious output out of them. Um, but uh, now, this is not a good or a bad thing. The, it's actually quite a soft rotor in terms of the pitch is not very aggressive. So you'll need. Um, either a slightly higher KV or more cells to get similar output to, to like a Wemo for example. Um, now the bad thing, the bad points I, I found on this, on the stator itself, the way the mount, the motor mounts inside, um, it's, it, it can sort of vibrate loose and come loose and cause damage um, and, and there have been reports of that. Uh, also the way in which the road it mounts to your motor mount, the, the thrust, uh, sorry the shaft adapter is a not it's not a very good system it's very very difficult to get it to tighten up um, nice and tight guys are using sandpaper washers and thread lock and stuff to get them to sit to stick on and to me that's not a good thing you want that on nice and tight yet the last thing you want is it coming loose or working its way loose also the fan that I got sent to me required quite a bit of work to get it um, to balance relatively smoothly now saying all this, um, with all these things in consideration, I'd say the Change Sun out of the three probably gets my uh, vote for second because um, it has got potential um, uh, to get some pretty serious output out of it but it's going to require a lot of work to get it to balance, to get the motor to not move in the housing, in its data um, and to get that, uh, prop, or that shaft adapter to sit on nice and tight. For the Wemotech, uh, well, this thing I can tell you right now, it just it, it's quite it's a quality unit. The rotor itself is very strong. Uh, the uh, shaft adapter, the way it, the system they use to, to stick it onto the to the motor shaft is very very good. It's strong, um, easily accessible. The uh, pitch is more aggressive than the Chain Sun, um, so you can get away with a lower KV motor to get the same sort of thrust. It sounds quite nice as well. Um, the only real downside, I, I guess, if it's a downside um, that I can pick with a Wemo is uh, compared to the others, is the price. Now, you know, to some people, it, it's you know not even an issue because they they might think it's still quite affordable. Others, maybe not so much. Um, also, it balanced pretty easy, pretty much straight out the box. Required very very little work, and it ran quite smooth. So, in saying that, I'd have to give the Wemo Tech my vote for first because it didn't need a lot of work um, at all it balanced well it sounded good and it was quite strong and provided good thrust figures and finally the fly fly fan now for its good points it's a pretty tough um, fan it's relatively strong um, the way in which the shaft adapter mates onto the shaft it's a good system you can get it on there nice and tight um, and also it's free when you buy a model uh, a fly fly model it comes free with the with the planer um, but that's probably where it ends um, it's not an efficient rotor at all uh, and compared to especially when you compare it to all the other fans that are out there on the market um, I honestly don't really see the point in putting in a fan putting in so much power into your plane if it's not going to translate if the fan and the rotor is not going to turn it into thrust out the other end and for that reason, that's why it gets my third 
or vote for third. So overall, I would say out of the three, if you want an excellent, efficient system and budget allows, then definitely go for the Wemotech. Um, if budget is a bit more important and you don't mind putting in some extra work, then uh, you can still get pretty good performance out of the Change Sun. Now, if budget is strictly your number one priority and you just want to go flying, then you can stick with the Fly Fly Rotor. So guys, there you have it. And doesn't that make for some interesting conversation next time you're down at the flying field, especially if you're talking about 90mm fan units. Now, don't forget to follow the linky link below in the description to the thread that is going to be basically started up for just comparative test data, like what was done in this video. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be just fan units. If you, you know, got if you've done motor tests, and prop tests, battery tests, etc., back-to-back -back stuff, and where you're testing one thing against the other, that's the sort of stuff that we can, you know, I want to put in there, um, or anyone can put in there, because then hopefully we can sort of help to siphon out the better stuff from some of the not so good stuff, and everybody wins. Yeah, as a follow-up video to this one, I'm, on the next one I'm actually gonna show you guys how to make a thrust stand. Now, importantly, it's cheap, it's easy to make, and you know, pretty much anyone can do it, um, and it works well. So, if you subscribe, if you like this video, subscribe, and you'll get kept up to date with the new ones as they get released. Now, don't forget, tell me what you want to see more of, less of, my face exactly, less of that. Um, be a bit hard because I won't be able to talk to you, but some of you guys, I can understand. So, I hope you like the video. This is JVC signing out. Oh, it's gorgeous, beautiful.